It's true, actually. My name is Melkon Merezian. I was born in Jerusalem, Palestine, not Israel. My family moved in 1915, as known from the genocide, first to Syria. Then they moved from Syria in 1935 to Palestine. In 1948, when Israel came, the Palestinian suffering started. And my family was part of the Palestinian suffering as well. They were expelled, their houses were stolen, taken, our houses mainly, our shops and everything else. In 2001, I was shot at by Israeli soldiers twice. But thankfully, I didn't die. That's why I'm able to stand before you today. As I came to Armenia, I didn't really know much of Armenian history. I knew some about the genocide, a bit here and there. I didn't grow up speaking Armenian. And so I wanted to learn about the Armenian history. And so we went to Artsakh. Also, like Lexi went to Artsakh. And in Artsakh, I remember we, as a group, we went to this old man's house who welcomed us so dearly. And we were having a lot of fun. We were laughing together. And we looked at some point at his house, um, the walls. And at some point, we saw this picture. And it was an, a young man's picture. So we thought it's him when he was a young man. So like, oh, who is that? It was you before. And he looked at us almost with tears. And he said, this is my only son who was killed in the Nagorno-Karabakh war. So this is an old man we met who lost almost all of everything in his life, the dearest, his son. So me coming to Armenia has been something to discover deeper both my Palestinian and my Armenian people who are still suffering, both here and in Palestine. And actually, Artsakh in particular has some similarities with Palestine. There's, by the way, many differences, but I will mention just a few similarities. Palestine in 1917 was given by a foreign entity to a foreign entity by a superpower, Britain back at the time, Belfort Declaration, to Israel. In 1918, or some say in 1991, Artsakh was given by Lenin, representing also a superpower to a foreign entity, in this case, Azerbaijan. Both have international uh, problems and big issues trying to reach an international consensus, both Artsakh and Palestine, as well as both we, Armenians and Palestinians, have our massacres and genocide denied. One, Palestinian massacres denied by the Israelis and Armenian genocide denied by the Turks. And today I stand here really feeling so deeply touched in Armenia because I feel like I carry two responsibilities, two people groups on my shoulders. One that I was born into by blood, being Armenian. And one is by belongingness, living with my people who suffered and still are suffering. And both groups are still suffering. And today I stand for the cause of justice, to dream for justice. And I am here for this reason, for justice. Thank you.